And the way that I do this is with a process called Kaizen. And you're probably familiar with this, but may not be familiar with the term. Um, it, Kaizen is a Japanese term. And while the practice itself originated in America, the companies that are best known for perfecting this process are companies like Toyota and Sony. And it's a process of continual small steps for improvement. And the phrase that best describes that is a journey of a thousand miles begins with but a single step. So it's the process of continuous improvement done in very small steps. And you will hear me say that in a lot of the training that I do. I'm a big believer in baby steps make small steps toward improvement and over time it you end up with a huge result and so I'm going to show you how I apply that process of Kaizen uh, to my goal setting and it's really three major steps I create smart goals I make time to achieve those goals and I actually score my effort now I'm not actually grading myself but I do remain accountable. And so what we're going to do is talk about all three of these phases of goal setting, and I'm going to share some of my goals and how I went about achieving those. So let's first take a look at SMART goals. You may already be familiar with this concept. It's a pretty popular one, but SMART goals are ones that almost make it impossible to fail. And SMART stands for specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-based. And for every goal that you set, you make sure that you answer these questions. So if I said that for um, the third quarter of 2015, I want to create a, a social media certificate program, you know, that's helpful, but it's not as specific as I need to be. So I need to say that I want to create a curriculum for an online social media certificate program that has an exam and can be completed in one month. I need to be able to verify how I can make measurable prog progress. I need to know what resources are available and that I need to attain that goal. I need to know why this is relevant. Why do I want to do a social media certificate program? Well, it increases revenue, but it also in widens the net of my members to be more advanced students. And time-based, um, this was a goal that I wanted to do in third quarter. And so that's an example of each one of these attributes of SMART goals. Now, I have a blog post on how to set SMART goals, so I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail about these, but it goes into a huge amount of detail about how to set them and examples for those SMART goals. And what I do is I set a new goal every 12 weeks, and I do it in my business, in my personal life, and in my relationships with family and friends. So over the last 12 weeks, these are the goals that I set for myself. I wanted to create an online certificate program for social media marketing here at socialmediaonlineclasses.com. I wanted to paint more. When the weather is warm and there's a, you know, the nature is, is in its full glory for spring, summer, and fall, I love to be painting. And so my goal was to paint every day. And I wanted to be able to get to see my son. This is my son, Sam, and he's the one who's living in Texas, and I went out to visit him this summer. So those were my goals over 12 weeks, and those are the only goals I set. I have one major goal in these three areas. And so what I'm going to do is walk you through how I actually do this. Now, I keep track of my goals on a spreadsheet, but you don't have to do that. You, you want to do it in the way that's easiest for you. It could be a spreadsheet. It could be um, just in a journal. It could be um, on a piece of paper. You know, it, it could be in a lot of different ways. Um, but this is the way that I do it. And 
I'll say what my goal is right here. I want to develop an online certification, the test, and the directory. And then I have each element of that SMART goal, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-based. And I answer that question for each one of these. So for specific, what does the outcome look like? Well, if I have a social media certification level, I'd have a final exam that certification members can take. And upon passing, they get a certificate and can be listed in our directory. Measurable, how can I track that progress? Well, I can use a spreadsheet and I can also use a project management tool called Trello. Now, these are only tools that I use. Your tools may be very different. Um, you can do this just on a, on a paper calendar. Um, achievable, what resources must be in place? Well, these are all the tools that I needed to create this goal. Relevant, what purpose does this goal have? I wanted to increase sales among people who are more advanced. And I have the time frame. I wanted to do it over the course of 12 weeks. And then what I do is I take that 12 week goal, you can see this is for third quarter of 2015, and I break it down every week into weekly tasks.